my lifestyle is quite different even than some of my friends. And I've had to, you know, love myself enough to realize that it's not so much about fitting in. It's about taking care of myself. That's what's gonna make me truly, truly happy. The older I got, the worse that my health got, and the more that affected my mental health. I got diagnosed with a lot of different chronic conditions, you know, microscopic colitis, esophagitis, ADHD, irritable bowel syndrome. I was put on a ton of different medications for all of these conditions, and nothing helped. There was just this day, I remember, I went to Publix, and I got a pub sub, a public sub, with like meats and like, you can get cheese layered on there and vegetables. I ate it and I remember I felt horrible after. All my symptoms came, you know, I had a stomach ache, I felt like the brain fog, I had a headache. What, what's going on? I, I, didn't I just eat something healthy? So I started to just research, do some research about my symptoms and look into holistic healthcare and I discovered my diet was all wrong. When we hear the word, you know, self-love, you oftentimes think bubble baths and taking yourself shopping and treating yourself. But for me, and I think what true self-love really boils down to is, you know, making the hard decisions for yourself sometimes, the decisions that serve you, giving yourself what you need instead of necessarily what you want in that moment all the time. My mental health has never been better. My spiritual health has never been better, but most importantly, you know, um, my physical health has never been better. All of these things kind of compound upon each other. I feel happier because of my great nutrition. Because of that, I can go and I can work out harder. I can work out for longer. A lot of people have a fear that they can't make gains on a plant-based diet, and I've had more muscular gain than I ever did when I was eating animal products. Endurance-wise, it's been fantastic too. I never liked to run, especially because I felt like food was always sitting in my stomach. And so it's allowed me to, you know, run as far as I want when I am with my dog. You know, we'll run for miles if we want to run. My brother was always my biggest influence, actually. He was the first person in my family to stand up and say no to animal products. It's been kind of a ripple effect from, from there. My little sister really, really looks up to me, so she's also vegan. And my parents are almost there. They started making the transition earlier this year. My parents' initial motivation, I remember my mom called me and asked for help because my dad has really high cholesterol. Cholesterol comes from animal products. We make all the cholesterol that we need in our own bodies, so extra cholesterol is very stressful for our systems. My dad had high cholesterol, and you know the vegan diet is great for normalizing cholesterol levels. And my dad has seen a dramatic drop in his bad cholesterol since he went plant-based, so I'm really proud of him for that. What is so beautiful about coaching is that it's not prescriptive. It's a very collaborative process where we creatively come up with ways to make it fit your lifestyle and to where you enjoy it because that's what's gonna make it sustainable. I work with people to create healthy lifestyle habits and make it simple and easy and fun and enjoyable to be healthy. Eating a plant-based diet has allowed me to just live my life to the fullest in every way. Don't get me wrong, I have so many goals. There's so many things I want to accomplish. But I am so happy with where I am now that um, I feel like it's so important to celebrate that and enjoy that. And sure, like I, I want to have a successful career. Of course I do. But um, I don't think that's where happiness is for me. I've already found it. I'm already there.